Hey guys, so today I'm here with yet another jailbreak tutorial. Uh, so today we're going to go ahead and show you guys how to use Lime Rain. Uh, now before we begin anything, I of course want to give you, you know, the standard stuff. Be sure to go ahead and back up your device in iTunes. Make sure you don't lose any data or anything like that. Um, so the device's Lime Rain supports, so I should go ahead and just open up the site itself. Um, it will support the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4, the iPod Touch 3rd generation, the iPod Touch 4th generation, and finally the iPad. Uh, this also is compatible with 4.0 as well as 4.1 firmware. Uh, so guys, this is going to be a really simple jailbreak, very, very uh, easy to do. It is only Windows only, however, though, so do keep that in mind. If you have a Mac or Linux computer, you will have to wait just a little bit longer. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and just show you. Uh, now, the first thing, obviously, is going to be to download the program. Uh, so if you do know, uh, go ahead and just take a look. I will link it. It's LimeRain.com. However, currently, the download link is down. Uh, so I do, al do also have a secondary link. I'll, of course, have that in the description as well. So if one is down, you can go ahead and take a look at the other. Uh, so it's going to be really simple. Today, I'll be doing it with my iPod Touch 4th generation. So I'm going to go ahead and just open up the line rain, and there it goes. It says make it rain. So let's go ahead and just show you guys how to do it. Okay, so this is going to be really simple. So again, I'll just go ahead and show you guys. I'm going to have my iPod Touch 4th generation connected via USB. It's already been backed up, and just to show you guys, I'm not you know, trying to show you anything. Um, it's been re freshly restored. Although I did try this, you do not have to restore. I just did it so I could do the jailbreak after I tested it. Uh, so anyway, guys, all you got to do is go ahead and click make it rain. Just move my computer there so you guys can see. Now it's going to be entering recovery, so I'll go ahead and just walk you guys through it. It does take a couple of minutes, but it's pretty simple. Now at this point we need to hold the home and the power button, and the program shows you everything, so I'll go ahead and just enter DFU mode, so there we go, holding the home and the power button. And then we're going to hold these for just a few seconds, and then we're going to go ahead and release the uh, power button, so there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and hold the home button until it's done. So again, this does not take just a minute, and then we'll go ahead and enter DFU mode. There we go. So as soon as it says NDFU mode, wait, we're done. So we'll go ahead and just sit here for one second. And the iPod's going to reboot, and that's going to go ahead and use the exploit. And there we go. As you guys can see here, that was it. That Lime Rain uh, icon has already appeared. And there it goes. It says, enjoy your jailbroken iPhone. Okay, so now there are just a couple of more things you do need to do. However, pretty much all the hard work is done. So that your iPod, your iPhone, or your iPad is going to shut off. So what you're going to need to go ahead and do is hold the power button for a minute. And it's going to boot up. So hang on one second and I'll be right back as soon as it's done booting. Okay, so once you have it booted, it's pretty simple. Now there's just a couple of minor steps, but you're pretty much done now. So go ahead and you'll find an application called Lime Rain. Uh, so it's going to be pretty simple. It's going to go ahead and say Cydia or you can uninstall. Definitely don't do that. Just go ahead and click Cydia. Go ahead and click it and then hit install. So it's going to go ahead and take just a minute to go ahead and download Cydia and then unpack it. Okay, so after one last reboot, you will see that we both have Cydia as well as Lime Rain. So guys, that's it. You are now jailbroken. Uh, now, I do want to say one thing. Some people are having problems with this, and it's been kind of called like a beta or a, an unstable. However, I've tried this a couple of times, as well as since I blogged, I'm still on live on Blog TV. Um, I've had a bunch of people in the chat try it, and I really haven't heard of a whole lot of problems. Most people have had no problem whatsoever. Um, however, if you do have a problem, feel free to leave it in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to help you out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.